first off, I'll introduce our organization. Okay. We're Israel United in Christ. We were founded in 2003 by Bishop Nathaniel in New York, out of New York. And from 2003 up until today, we have schools, we have schools, church slash churches across the United States. We have some in Africa, um, even in the Central America, yep. Central America, uh, I believe South America. South too, America right? as well. We got, we have over a hundred congregations okay. all over the globe. Right. So, so um, and then I'm not sure if you're familiar, if you ever heard about the Israelites, if, you, if you're familiar. I'm not, I'm not really sure, perhaps not. Okay. So just a, a brief, because uh, sometimes we refer to as black Hebrew Israelites. Okay. Which is an incorrect term. It's, it's more so saying like we're fake Israelites. Gotcha. So what we, we believe in the Bible just sure. like you. Mm -hmm. um, that's our foundation. The foundation of everything that we do is pertaining to the Bible. So as we are sitting down here today, the, the, we, it's no, it's no uh, doubt of the, the, the violence and things. Oh, no, that go no on doubt about that. In the city. Uh -huh. So our aim is to, okay, you're a, leader, you're a leader of the community. How can we come together? Since we both believe in the Bible, how can we come together sure. to actually provide solutions for the community to actually help uplift the community sure. and get the community right? Okay. Um, so, uh, so with that, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to start with a scripture. Sure. Uh, get, uh, Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. There you go. The book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. So, as the scriptures say, we stand on the scriptures. The scriptures tell us, gather yourselves together. We know that the, the Bible was written, historically, it was written to the Israelites. Okay. So, we know that in Zephaniah, Zephaniah 2 and 1, this is a prophecy that's referring to the Israelites. Okay. And at, the, at this time, we were still, predominantly, we were still, we were still together as a nation. But over, over the course of time, through various captivities and things of that nature, we were separated. So now we know that that's beginning to us in this day where you look at the, um, the communities, we are not together. Our young men, you got GDs versus BDs, but they just be the same people. Um, BDs versus Latin Kings, all, the, all these different gangs mm -hmm. where we warn against each other and killing off ourselves when if we just follow, if you just, just, want, just this one scripture we just read, it says, read it again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. And it says, O nation, not desire. So when you look at, when you look at, when you just look around at all of the nations across the world, what one nation is undesired? In the very, not just in Chicago, you got Detroit, uh, Mississippi, very in the various places. Who are the nations that's not desired? Who are the people within these cities that are not desired? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, people that look like you and me. Exactly. Okay. And also our, our brothers and sisters that may be a lighter, like our Hispanics mm -hmm. and uh, Native Americans, mm -hmm. they are not desired. So one of those, one of the solutions to fix our community is us actually gathering together, gathering together and read. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the child, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So we know that that's referring to judgment. Okay. Before the judgment come, we can be actually commanded to gather together. And if us gathering together, how can we, the, what, is the, what is the way that we gather together? Because we believe, we, we believe, on, we believe in the same Bible. Mm -hmm. And that's, a, that's the first connection, connect point. But then from that, okay, now it's, what, 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 what are the things that we have to apply? Like, uh, get Leviticus 19 and um, 17. So one of the things like we know for the community, the thing that the community needs is the commandments of God. Because growing up, many of us growing up, we didn't have that. We didn't we didn't know right from wrong. We we had an idea of right. what it was, mm -hmm. but the communities wouldn't look like wouldn't be like in the in the dire conditions that they're in if we actually did what the Bible said to do. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. 
So, the, so this is one law. If I, if our young men would talk to conflict resolution, <laughs> okay, if your brother did something to you, whether even to the he stole your car, he stole some money from your pocket wallet. Okay, go and talk to your brother face to face, man to man, and resolve the issue, and then you keep moving. Whether he restored, he restored the money, however, but that's the that's a solution to deaden the uh, the violence in the community. Would you and you Absolutely. would agree with that? No doubt. So, um, did you have any? No, you're doing fine. Yeah, okay. I got it. Mean, it's truth. That's truth. Right. So, one of the things that, like, well, that's, that's what we teach. Like, we go into the prisons. We we, we okay. do. We just did a community cleanup in Inglewood uh, on Sunday. So, the common ground is us applying the commandments. Well, I think you get you hit the nail right on the head when right. you talk about coming together mm -hmm. because that's what we're not doing. Everybody's trying to do their own little thing or right. do nothing. Mm -hmm. And so and it becomes important for us to come together because regardless of what, what we think we are, okay, uh, we all have the same problems, okay? Mm -hmm. Bullets don't have names on them. Exactly. Okay? Knives don't have names on them. Right. Okay? Violence doesn't pick a season or a type, you know, and so I mm -hmm. think it's important. Yeah. Right. So us gathering together, one of the key points of us gathering together is us, one, and I'm pretty sure you would agree, us having actual identity. Because one of the, another one of the reasons our young men are shooting each other down in the streets, fighting one another, is because they have no, no identity. They really don't know exactly who they are. They don't understand the, the concept of, okay, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I come up to you and kill you, I'm actually killing myself. Right. In the, in, the, in essence, because mm -hmm. we are the same people. Mm -hmm. We look just alike. We come from the same neighborhoods. We got and the same struggles. And that's one less of us. Right. We got the same struggles, but yet you my enemy. When all in all, you're not my enemy. You're my brother. You're my neighbor. We should be the safest around each other. Exactly. Without a doubt. Yeah. And that's that's going back to the point of gathering yourselves together. So that that I, that identity is is more than just. Uh, believing in the Bible or believing in the scriptures is actually knowing your national identity. Okay. Because when 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 we when you examine history, and I know you you you're old, you're much older than me. You no, about history, two years. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you examine our history, and you've lived through the, you, I heard about it, but you you've more than uh -huh. lived through the times of us being called Afro American. Oh yeah, all of those. Yeah. Color. All of those. Almost long enough to hear Negro. Right. Almost. <laughs> right, right. So <laughs> the thing is, why, why is that? Why did that happen to us? Mm -hmm. When you go to why do the names come from someone else for us? Right. When, I'm with you. And and all of those names don't have a nation tied to it. Right. We're the only. We're the only right. people. There's that no call, Negro nation. There's no, I'm there's with no, you. There's, there's no Afro nation. Right. There's no Afro nation. You got nation. Italian Americans. Mm -hmm. You got right. Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. And then you got us. Right. So you got there's no connection. And yeah, then, absolutely right. And for the vast majority of uh, of us, the farthest back in history that we can go is slavery. Mm -hmm. We don't know anything beyond that. And that that hand that goes to okay, we're African American. Okay, we're colored. Okay, we're Negro. And that's the same thing. Now what? And it's it's mm -hmm. we can't we black. Mm -hmm. I got you. When all of those all of those national supposed national origins, there's no way to trace back to it. So part of that coming together to move forward and build up the community is that identity. Okay. And um, you're familiar with Deuteronomy. You know who mm -hmm. Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. correct? Right. Moses, mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 28, 15. So one of the, one of the things is that the uh, racial identity. We have to know who we are. Like the saying goes, you gotta know your, you gotta know your past I walk with my back forward. to the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you got to know your past to get to actually move mm -hmm. forward, and that's Absolutely. what that's one thing that we lack as a community. We lack as a nation because we don't have we a don't have that identity. We don't have that connection. A lot of times, and a lot of times, because even me before uh, I understood what I know now, when I read the Bible, I didn't see myself in the Bible. Okay. I seen somebody else, I and I seen you. myself as a Gentile. Mm -hmm. But as I as I know now, no, the Bible is actually our history book. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, the, it's a history book of the Israelites Got you. and we actually fit the things that's in there. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. 
But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So knowing, so now we have the not, we know, okay, Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy to Israel. Okay. So now he's telling Israel, if you don't listen to the commandments of God that I told you and observe to do them, then curses are going to come. You're going to bring some stuff on There's you. It's going to be bad things that's mm -hmm. going to happen. Read on. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So then it says, cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. We know Moses wrote it a long time ago, so now we got to look, okay, who is this? He, he tell him, he telling him, okay, this is going to happen mm -hmm. in the future, that if you break to the commandments, these things will happen. So it says cursed in the city. When you look across the cities of the world, who's cursed? Mm -hmm. Who's living in the bad conditions? Who's the always the, the, the bottom of the barrel? We are. Mm -hmm. The Hispanics are. The Native, our Native, Amer the Native Americans are. They own reservations on the land that was theirs. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. So that, 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 uh, the, uh, uh, a step towards that working together is, okay, we got to understand that this is talking, this, this Bible is talking about us. Uh, read on. Verse, seven, verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. So even with that, you tie that. We've seen the, from Roots to, uh, what's the other ones? Man, the newer Dingo. ones, yeah. Mandingo, yeah. 12 years of slave. Yeah. What's the other? It's another one. It's a, well, all of the slave sure. movies. We can, we can go down a list. But we know that the, that's the historical aspect of what happened to us. Our children were taken from us and sold off to the to slave masters from a, in a different city. And we never we had no military might to get our children back. We had no political might. We had nothing. There was nothing we could do but cry long and, 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 and weep for our children to get them back and fast forward to today, it still happens today in the form of DCFS. Okay. Where if somebody make a claim and say that you're not taking care of your kids or they're in a bad um, environment. living environment. But then, then, but then you can't even be together because they don't exactly. even want the husband and the wife to be together. Exactly. They get you penalized know. for being together. Mm -hmm. So they have to separate the, in order yeah, to, get to get something. That, yeah, for the okay. woman to get the Which section is, eight. Yeah. Exactly. So, with those things, we have to understand that all of those things are happening because I hear the question is why. Yeah. Exactly. The question is, and this is the, yeah. this is the reason why. But you're bringing on yourselves. Right. All the things that are happening mm -hmm. is because we refuse to keep God's commandments. We, 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 and then when it's, when it's told to our, a lot of our people, it's like, no, we don't have to do that. But yet, the Bible is very clear. It's saying, okay, if you don't <laughs> listen and you don't do some it, consequences. then it's going to be some consequences. Just like a father with his children. You, you, hey, I want, I want your room clean by the time I come home from work. The room's not clean, what's going to happen? Consequences. It's consequences. So that's what, that's what we see sure. within our communities. Get, uh, was that it on that one? Yes, sir. Get 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Mm -hmm. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So here we see another curse. And at the beginning of this verse, it's clear. It says, and the Lord going to bring against you. Bring a, what is it? Read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Basically letting us know that the Lord is going to send enemies his, our enemies against us because we didn't keep his commandments mm -hmm. and we're going to serve them in read it in hunger in hunger we want to get some food the, the, the various stores and corner stores and grocery stores that's in our communities we don't own we right. go spend our money and then that money is gone, gone. out of our neighborhood mm -hmm. we never see it again that's our serving our enemies read and in thirst and in thirst we want to get a bottle of water. We got to go get the aqua, ice, ice mountain, aquafini, the various things that we don't own. We got to go to Idaho. You, you have a house. You got to pay a water bill because yeah. we don't own those things. Read. 
And in nakedness. And in nakedness. We don't, the textile companies, we don't own those things. We don't own the textile companies that actually uh, weave the clothes together, the cotton and all of that. We don't own it. We had to go to our enemy. No matter what logo or label got you. you got on mm-hmm. it, you had the uh, FUBU and I don't even know if they wear FUBU anymore. <laughs> now you're dating yourself, right? <laughs> Like Kanye <laughs> West shoes, uh, Kanye West shoes, all of those various things. Where just because the the name on it, but the, when you look at the tag, it says "Made in China, mm-hmm. Made in Turkey, Taiwan, Made in Taiwan." Mm-hmm. We don't own those things. Read. And in a want of all things. And in one of all things, you want to when you had children, you got to get in the birth certificate, uh, your, your your education. Uh, driver's, uh, driver's, driver's license, driver's license. Uh, certificate. Yeah, don't certificate. forget that too. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, the, the right medicine. When you, uh, Prescriptions. Medical. Oh. When you uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Medicaid. When you need when you need medical attention. I say okay. it like that. Oh. When you need medical attention. You got to go to your enemies. So all of those things are happening. And when you look at why it's spread, yeah, you can say one can a person can say, okay, that's happening to everybody. Everybody's affected by that. But when you really look at it and examine it close up, nobody is uh, in dire need as we are, as a nation of people. Because we are, we, at, we are at the bottom of society no matter where we go. That's why they call us the minority. When in all actuality, we're not the minority. <laughs> but not of the world, you're right. And that's, Two and thirds that's, of the world, people of color. Right, so the thing is, and it's, and it's, it's not just it's people of color, it's not just Based on the color, like I said, the Hispanics and natives, you have a lot of them that are a, lot, a whole lot fairer skinned than we are. Sure. Uh, even lighter than my the brother behind the sure. camera. Sure, different, different, different shades. Different shades, but yeah. That's something that's, well, well, we understand that they try to, and even if, I don't know if, you ever, uh, if you're familiar with the Willie Lynch letter. Of course. Where they divide, divided us. Divide them by color, exactly. divide them by age, divide, you know, yeah. Those mm-hmm. are the things that happen, so now, as we hear today, us, us, the gap that's the, and that's all that part of that gathering together is getting rid of those, um, those divisive measures, so to say, and coming and returning back to the Bible as it is written and actually doing what the Bible says, keeping the commandments that are lined within it. Um, read, uh, read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And then that yoke of iron on our neck. We under we we know we had yokes of iron on our neck, and we know who put them yokes mm-hmm. of iron on our neck. Okay. So it, that that goes a little bit more detail to show who those enemies, who the, who our enemies are. So for us, the gathering together is us banding together as a community, and actually returning returning to the Bible, and actually as we read though, as we read the uh, the the text that's contained in it. We actually do what it says to do, because um, one of the things that, as a as a nation of people, one of the things that during slavery we were prevented from reading the Bible, where we didn't we didn't we went we, it was a long period of time before we were able to read sure. the Bible. And when you examine history, like Nat Turner, when he was he was taught to read, he was he actually uh, uh um, I forget the other one. That he, so it took my tongue to come to me, but Nat Turner, just using Nat Turner as an example. When he was, he was taught to read, and he actually had the full Bible, because they had a slave Bible, that had majority of the Bible removed from it. Mm-hmm. So he read, let's get that in Psalms. But he said, uh, basically, when you look at the history, Nat, Nat Turner said, uh, for every scripture that they used to justify enslaving us, he found another scripture that, uh, what did he say? That. What, what, I can't quote it just like he said. It was basically I ain't seen the, in a while, but I know it. He basically found the scripture that, that contradicted. Oh, I don't want to say about, contradicted, yeah. but. Talked about our redemption. He right. yeah, talked about our redemption. Okay. Okay. So when we read them, and, he, he un- and Nat Turner understood that after from his reading, True. of reading outside of what we were told to read and what was forced on us, he understood that he was an Israelite. And that he, he, in his mind, he felt that he was a quote-unquote prototype of Moses, where he was going to take take us out of slavery. Okay. So, uh, did you get that? Going Psalms one forty-nine, verse one. 
Um, yeah, Psalms chapter 149, verse 1. Praise ye the is Lord. One of the scriptures that they uh, highlight in the movie. Okay. Read. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of, the, of saints. Mm -hmm. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let, let them praise him in a dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. So we see, like, when we, when we read throughout the Bible, the, 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 the Bible is very possessive in who it's talking about. And it, it, it translates. Now we're reading Psalms in the Old Testament, but it also it, it goes right up into the New Testament, where it's, it's constantly, he, uh, where it refers to Christ, he died for his people. He came for his people. The, the narrative never changed. This is just over the course of history. We've seen, um, like if, when you get in First Kings, you see the kingdom split. We, we were taken into captivity and all those various things. But in all, the, the totality of the Bible shows us that it's only to Israel, and which is us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand mm -hmm. to execute vengeance upon the heathens and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. And that's showing us that the saints, for one, the saints is Israel showing us that judgment is gonna come. All of the things that happened to us throughout history, the captivities, the our women being uh, snatched from us and raped and all of that, that's gonna come right back on those that held us captive. And when you uh, read in Revelation where it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's exactly what that's referencing. So it, it shows that correlation with from the Old Testament to the New Testament. So. That's, and that's and that that shows even just reading that and then um get uh go back to do the runner between that and so so thus far do you agree you see yeah you see I, I find no fault in nothing you're saying okay. and then go to sixty four Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse sixty four sixty eight go to sixty eight verse sixty eight and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So we, under, we, we all know that the Israelites were in the land of Egypt as slaves. And they, were, and they were delivered from Egypt. But when you examine history, the Israelites never went back into the physical land mass of Egypt. So as we read in this, you had to think, okay, they didn't, Egypt was bondage. This is a, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a physical reference to the land, but it's actually a spiritual reference of what was going to happen to the Israelites. Because he said you're going to go into Egypt again, but yet when you read in, what you got? Exodus 40 and 2. Okay, you read that, and then get Exodus uh, 14 and 3. Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. So when he says <laughs> Egypt in Deuteronomy 28 and 6, he's referring to the house of bondage. He's not referring to the physical landmass of Egypt. Otherwise, he would contradict, the, the most high would, would have contradicted itself here. Yep. Uh, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 14 and verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, mm -hmm. which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. So that lets us know that, because you know that it's the, it's the, Bible, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. All right. The Most High is not schizophrenic. The Most High God is not schizophrenic where he say one <laughs> thing one day and then be like, nah, I'm going to change Maybe my, I mean no. this. Yeah. So we know, we know that clearly that when he said you can go into Egypt again, it's talking about bondage. It's not talking about... Not talking about the physical land mass. Like the same type of bondage. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then read it again. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he still, now he says, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again, but with ships. From Israel to Egypt, you don't have to get, you don't have to get on a ship to go there. So that, that correlates with us. When we look at history, okay, when, when did this happen? The transatlantic, excuse me, the transatlantic slave trade. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the sub-Saharan slave trade, when the Arab Arabs had us in slavery. Okay. Where that, those things happened because we broke God's commandments. We were on the west coast of Africa and we were scattered throughout the, throughout the world. Only our history reflects what this Bible is saying. So it, it validates, and knowing that, <clears throat> knowing that, that's a identity, okay, that happened to me. That happened to my people. That happened to, that happened to us. That gives you a sense of that uh, racial pride, so to say. Well, now you take pride in, okay, if, I'm, if that's who we are, we in these dire conditions, why would I continue to kill my brother? Why would I continue... I'm GD, he's BD, so now we, we at beef or at odds, or I'm a GD from this side of the street, he is GD mm. from that side of the, the, the block, and we, we don't we don't worry each other. That that would help dismantle all of that because now you understand this is my brother. Not because we got the same mother and father, but this is my brother because we are the same nation. We the same nation of people. And that goes from blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Um, yeah, Haitians, just to get more specific, Haitians, um, Jamaicans, Cuban, uh, Cuban Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, we are all the same people. We the same people, so therefore we, and we live in the same communities, we right next to each other. Okay. Us coming together, we can move in the right direction. Okay, this but, is some good stuff, man. Uh, how often do you all do this, have these discussions? Um, we do it often. I mean, with the same the, people. I mean, you know, I um, mean, like, do. like say with me, you know, like, would you all be opposed coming back again? That's what we. Hey, that's what we. That's what we. You know what that's I'm saying? That's our goal. Yeah, we you want, know, you know, this establishing out. this co communication. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's okay. What this we is love to do. okay. Yeah, this is good because I really want to get to, uh, and, the, and the important part of what you guys are sharing is that one of the reasons why. This is happening because people don't know who they are. Exactly. <clears throat> and, and then you don't care about each other if you don't realize you're the same. Right. Even though society has taught us that we're all different. Mm -hmm. They made us to believe that we're all different. Right. Going back to the Willow Lynch piece. Right. And sometimes it don't have to do with color. It has to do with geography. Like you mm -hmm. said, one side of the street or the other. Yeah. So I think this is good, you know. I really enjoy what you're sharing. I really enjoy it. And, and the passion in the word is very, very important because it right. is. Right. It's a living word, man. Right. And you brothers make it alive. <laughs> Right. Okay, and so that, and I, I, w I would like to uh, have more of these conversations as we direct to what we're going to do mm -hmm. uh, to stop this madness. Right. Okay, and then it begins, as you've been saying to, for the last 30 minutes, uh, knowing why, how we got there. Right. Okay, not doing what God has told us to do mm -hmm. and bringing it upon ourselves. And right. so if we brought it on ourselves, we can get out of it. Right. Okay. And okay. That, and that way, that way out is. Um, Get wrap, uh, I know you say mm -hmm. you got to wrap up with two, I two scriptures. What's okay. Well? Deuteronomy 7 and 6 first, and then uh, Acts 3 and 19. You got Deuteronomy? Yeah, I got you. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So just, just to enhance that, 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 that identity, that national Shoot. pride. <clears throat> Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So us just hearing that, uh, connecting the dots, okay. Deuteronomy 28, it's, it connects with me. Now, Deuteronomy 17, he chose us above all people. And when you know when that happened is when he told Abraham to leave your father's house. And then he got Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said, in thee shall I see be called. And that's what, that's that lineage. Okay, he chose us before we was even a nation. Okay. So that's that, that's part of that racial pride. Us actually knowing, understanding, knowing who we are. Read Acts 3 and 19. The book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. 
when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And then you, you understand, I know you, you understand what repent. Of course. Repent means that you, you feel remorse that you've been going against what God. And you turn from do. that. And you turn from it. And then mm -hmm. it says be converted. Go to uh, Psalms 19 and 7 real quick. Sorry, three scripts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know how that goes. <laughs> I know a little bit about that. <laughs> Psalm 19 and 7. So it says, Repent ye therefore and be converted. So now we're okay. I repent. I understand that I'm, I've, I've done against what God told me to do. Hey, I feel I feel sorry. I want to change. Okay, so what do you change about? What what is the, what you got to do to change? What is it that's going to change you? Read that. The book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 7. The law Psalm, of Psalm, Psalm. Psalm, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. So we understand that the, it's the law of the Lord that converts our soul. So now it's back to that Leviticus 19 and 17. Okay, my brother wronged me. Let me go and talk to my brother and see. Because he might not even know that he wronged me. He might have he did something. He might even know. Now when I go talk to him, we resolve the issue. And now ain't nobody got to go pull no gun. Right. Ain't nobody got to go. And, and, and well, they don't even fight no more. But, I hear what you're saying, right. but that's the... That's All the, the violence. It's, it's, yeah. and that the was retaliation. Ceasing, just applying that simple commandment. Uh, finish it up. Verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So the testimony that we have in this Bible, from the prophets, from the five, first five books to the, to the uh, major and minor prophets, this the testimony of the Lord is sure. Everything that's written here, if we, if we apply it, we for sure gonna be pleasing in this sight. Go back to Acts 3.19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Meaning repent, learn the laws, apply them, and then the most high is gonna forgive you. He's gonna forgive you of your sins, but you have to apply his commandments. You gotta do what he said to do. You gotta fulfill the requirements of God's laws. And that's and the only way you can fulfill the requirements is actually by doing them things. Uh, is that it on that? When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And so when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's when judgment day come. Because we keeping his commandments, he gonna find us pleasing. And that's, that's and even now in this time, as we come together, as we bond together, because us, just us here, we it, we didn't grow up together. We come from different types. And he's, he's, he's old enough to be our father. <laughs> <laughs> not no no slight, but just for us to be in together, <laughs> yeah. that's okay. a that's a phenomenon I got you. I got to you. many. Yeah, and we we come from he, I don't even, he's not even from Chicago, Chicago, Mississippi. from okay. Mississippi. We I'm from the south suburbs. He's from the west side. He's from, not from Chicago. He's from Rockford. He's not from Chicago, is it? But because we learned, we learned. Okay, we it's like we gotta keep the commandments. Now we're gathering together, whereas before. We probably would never even met each other. Gotcha. So now that's where we start moving the community in the right okay. way. Shalom, Most High Christ Blessed. Just had a church sit down with one of our local pastors here in Chicago. Yeah, it went very, very good, very well. He received the information that we brought out to him very well, and he actually invited us to come back out. So we're gonna be in communication to get back out here. Very good uh, sit down meeting. Lord's will, we continue doing these and get, and get this truth out to our people. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation 